Hi guys, it's me, the Arcana Angel, and I wanted to do just a little quick video. <clears throat> this will be a quickie. I don't know who this video is for, but um, I sat down to do um, my new moon eclipse video, and the spirit said, there's a message for somebody, remember I'm spirit led, cornbread fed, and I'm from the south. Several people. We got Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, and Leo. Wheel of Fortune, please. Taurus and Aries. King of Pentacles, cool. And the King of Wands, Cancer, and Leo. Off the rip. Um, whatever is going on in your love life is out of your hands. So you might as well just sit back, relax, and um, let it happen. It's happening. Page of Swords. Um, you got something on the way. These are love messages. Let's see what you have in love. Okay. We're going to clarify what's out of your hands. What is this Wheel of Fortune? The Knight of Swords. Some kind of um, communication. Something that's coming in. Really out of your hands. It might be a little foggy. This um when um you finish watching this or maybe you watched already the eclipse uh, video that I'm uploading. New moon eclipse. You might be feeling a little foggy in this uh energy, right? But remember this is something that's out of your hands, so it might be a little foggy. You see how their hands are kind of covered, right? They they doing the work. It's not their job to say if somebody deserves it or not, to let them go or not, they have to do the work. Or you have to do the work. Whatever it is, it's out of your hands. Knight of Swords. Let's see, somebody rushing in here over first to. So it's definitely some kind of aggressive communication coming in. It's out of your hands, yeah. You got the two of cups. Definitely a love situation, right? Um, love at first sight. You got the sun. I told you it's clarity. It's gonna be out of your hands, but it's gonna whatever happens is gonna bring you clarity. You got the strength in reverse. Somebody might be operating in their ego. And you got the seven of cups in reverse. Wow, avoiding the issues. Maybe that's why they rushing in because they feel like that you're avoiding um, the issue. King of Pentacles, um, that's somebody that's stable, that's somebody that's abundant, that's somebody that have it all. They got it all. That's what they say. Got it all. Will of Fortune is out of your hands. They, whatever they have, they don't have no concern of yours, right? Whatever they doing to secure their bag or to secure their future is out of your um, hands. Right? They might have a, a ego, right? But just sit back and let it do what it do. Let's clarify this king of chemicals. What's up with this king of chemicals? It's two kings on the board. You got a knight of pentacles. So I told you it's definitely something coming in. Um, they want to come in aggressively, but something is holding them back. Like I said, somebody avoiding something, right? Avoiding the truth. Avoiding the relationship. Avoiding the issues. Let's get a card on this Knight of Pentacles. Let's Avoiding. 
the Knight of Wands and the Princess of Cups in reverse. They're avoiding coming in and telling you how they feel. The Knight of Cups, they're avoiding the coming in and tell you what really makes them happy. What's going to make them happy? What makes them happy? Let's get a card on the Nine of Cups. This is what makes them happy. You got the Six of Swords. Definitely a better communication. Um, six of Swords is moving beyond the hurt, right? Even though some of it is lingering, there's that fog again. Some of it is lingering. Moving beyond the hurt, they want to get that childlike feeling again. But something shocked their confidence. Right? The fool in reverse. Not having courage. Right? Being reckless. Being immature. Avoiding the issues. Avoiding their happiness. Even though they want to move towards calm water, that would make them so happy. They're avoiding the conversation. Not having courage. Not being bold. What is the um, tower? Spirit, please. If you can give us a card on the tower. Princess of One and the Emperor. Yeah, the Emperor is somebody that's usually um, straightforward, right? And you got the Princess of One. So whatever decision they're trying to make, yeah, the tower is. They just they're gonna come in but it's gonna be not head first think slow moving yeah slow look they're gonna come in and talk about what what made them happy what they've seen come about this relationship that brought them hurt right it's gonna be a tower moment because it's gonna be an unexpected because they want to rush in with the knight of swords they feeling like go that's on their mind they really probably overthinking it a little bit then they got scared, per se. I hate to use the word scared, but yeah, fear is real. Right? Especially when you know you want to rush in to do something you might not really want to do. So, so, and reverse. That's those options. But the King of One, he gains his confidence. Let's see what this King... Give us a card on this King, please. Or, yeah, holding back. But just from being caught on this conflict. It's about to be a victory. Six of coins with the five of wands. Oh, they might have to come in and tell you that it was somebody else. Because judgment, when, when judgment is called, I told you it was two kings on the board and the queen, right? Two masculine energies and a feminine energy. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, but judgment being called because of the holding back. Now you got the five of ones and this see the conflict. Somebody giving to multiple people or somebody not knowing how to give or somebody not knowing how to accept. A hard conversation when I'm clarified the six of coins. Anxiety, I told you, definitely a hard conversation about it. Clarify the Six of Coins, please. Please, is the Six of Coins? Death in reverse. Somebody want to pull through, yeah. Underlying energy, this love. Like, they want to nurture it, but... They not giving, they holding the back, wanting to come forward. Yeah, the six of coins, death with the lovers, maybe having to end something to offer you something. Maybe that's the conversation. That's what I'm getting. The conversation is they were giving or getting from somebody else, and they had to end this, transform. That was the anxiety, so they can make you an offer to nurture. Yeah, the king helps nurture the offer so they can be emotionally fulfilled. Yeah. Three of Wands in reverse, making a decision. Mm, with the two of Swords, told you. So here's the communication. It's going to be coming in swift. So let's see. Um, let's get an outcome for it. Spirit, let's see what is going to come of this conversation. Right? Ooh, the fools. 
something new. With the death card again, just have to something new that you just have to wait and um push through, right? You have to pull through. This game it's not gonna be an easy conversation. So it's gonna be you see the full possibilities. You don't have possibilities, but you have to surrender the ego if you want the love. Surrender the ego. So this situation, depending on how the conversation goes and how you feel, because you are the design this. And remember, spirit says, use your intuition. Right? Use your intuition. Take positive steps. So if it's a positive conversation, that's a yes. If it's not, that's a no. Right? Remember, this is something that's out of your hands. It's already designed by spirit. But everybody deserves a, free, uh, a, a fair trial. The Empress. Yeah. Yeah, the conversation, as long as it's about growth, remember, they have to let something go. You got the Empress twice. You have to let something go to be free. The sun, use your consciousness. Use your consciousness. Use your consciousness about this situation. The possibility it is your look, surrender again. Surrender and surrender. Don't be in your head, but you see the surrender part is a nine and ten. This is a final conversation. Something that you talked about before just to give you a heads up. Could involve the parenting skills. Parent of your child, healing uh, between your parents or something that they went through as a child, right? I see two eights. So, yeah, prepare for it. I think um, I'm going to say prepare for an ending. Listen to the music that comes about, right? Five part. There's going to be messages in your music about healing. Spiritual enlightenment, you'll be able to go within. This is karmic debts being paid. Two sevens, use the discernment. Remember, make good choices. Take positive steps. People, places, and things in the environment might be um, having something to do with this. Something about your environment, people, places, and things. But know that all is well. All you have to do is ask for what you want. Just like I said, unless it's trying to get them to. So I want to get a time report. Because this person is at the night. They skip and rope. They in, they out. They go, they come. They stop, they in. They just see spirit third card is the time report. They'll be going back and forth in their head until around the full moon time because they're avoiding it. You don't do anything. You sit back, right? This has been a burden, right? Remember, we're trying to blossom. So, although you are very resilient, you have been able to keep going. Go some more. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, you'll be able to put those bags down by the time. You see how she's going up the hill to the full moon? <coughs> By the time you reach this area, you should have been to work out some of this on your own. Right? And blossoming. This, it, you, you're blossoming. This relationship it is blossoming. You just have to have patience. Remember the growth. The Empress came out twice. I told you something new. So it might be an old relationship, but it might give you the new, new feeling. The Earth kind of angel, and I'm spirit led. And guess what? See what I said? Namaste.